Hi, my name is Kim Cullen and I'm a personal injury attorney in Winter Park, Florida. We recently had a situation arise in a dog bite case that I thought would be interesting to share with our viewers. So we represented a uh, young lady who was working for one of the food delivery services that have gotten really popular since the COVID outbreak. So she was, had um, you know, been called to deliver food, had pulled up in front of a house, was walking the food up to the front step of the house when the homeowner cracked the door open and a dog comes rushing out and really attacked and mauled our client to the extent that she needed pretty significant surgery and she had a, a, a several day hospital stay and that sort of thing. So these folks had already talked to several lawyers' offices before they called us, and each of those lawyers' offices immediately turned down the case when the client said something about Pitbull. Well, and the reason probably why they turned down the case was because there are a lot of homeowners' insurance policies that exclude pit bulls or pit bull attacks from coverage. And so she hired us and we got involved in the case and we thought about it a little bit and said to ourselves, well, we don't know exactly what the breed of this dog is and we don't know that it's a pit bull necessarily. So let's just present the claim as a dog attack and let's see what the insurance company says about what the breed of the dog is. And so we presented the claim and the issue of pit bull never came up. So in general, when you're dealing with an insurance claim, the insurance company is supposed to provide you coverage unless an exclusion applies. And the insurer has the burden of proving that any particular exclusion applies. And in this case, I have to assume, or we have to assume that the insurance company didn't have any proof that this was in fact a pit bull or else they would have raised it and it would have been an issue that we would have had to deal with with the insurance company. But in this case, by not jumping to a conclusion and by not stating out right and at the very outset of the claim that it was a pit bull, we were able to avoid that issue and we're able to make a nice recovery for our client, which she really needed because she has a lot of hospital expenses already and she's got some corrective surgery and things like that that she unfortunately is gonna need in the future. So if you have any questions about a dog bite case or how insurance might relate to a dog bite case, please reach out to us. We'd love to answer questions. All you have to do is call our office at 407-254-4901. You can always text us at 407-644-4444. You can email me directly to my personal email address. It's kmc at cullen hempillcom if you like this video and found the information in it helpful, we have hundreds of other videos with other issues uh, that pop up in personal injury cases that you, we would encourage you to watch because they're really full of useful information. You can find those on our YouTube channel or on our website, www.cullen-hemphill.com.